This is Artifacts, I'm going to go against the clock for Fact TV. Key. Um, yeah, so first I kind of get it going by just putting a beat together, so starting off with a kick. So I've got some samples that I've preloaded, um, uh, with some EQs and stuff already set up. Okay, so So I just kind of, I generally use MIDI in Ableton because I just find it's quicker and um, easier if you want to change the sound around or anything like that. So, and then I always split my kicks into like a mid and a high. Okay. And then I normally go for the hats next, so I've got a few more hats loaded up as well, so I'll start off with a, this one is an offbeat hat. generally draw the MIDI in for everything really. Um, okay, I'll put some extra hats in just to add some more groove. And then um, I normally put a, kind of like a tambourine shaker in there as well, which is a hit out of just to add a bit more rhythm. So I do that and I cut it down in the audio here, just get one hit. And loop that on the sixteenths. Okay. The next thing I normally do is get my snares going. Um, which again I've got some claps, like just some 909 claps loaded up, which I'm gonna use for this. Just get the MIDI from there again. sound card I'm using <laughs> makes the claps go pretty funny but I'll just try using a different one. There we go. Okay so once I've got my basic beat down, I move on to the bass line, which I normally, at the moment I'm using the Rob Pape and Subboom bass, and uh, just kind of set up an FM synth using some sine waves. Just gets a nice... Uh, nice meaty sound. There we go. And then I'll just take the MIDI here, and I draw this in as well, because um, I don't really have a MIDI keyboard at the moment, and I find it easier anyway just to uh, draw the piano roll in. All right. So I'll just put it together a simple little bass line like that for now. We drop that down an octave. Okay. And then just add some like little variations at the end. I sometimes just swing the notes, round the notes up an octave. So that's my kind of basic thing. I'll, I'll put some percussion in there as well. I've got a couple of rim shots, which I like to use in my tunes. So I'll just get a little rhythm going with them. So that's 
this is going to be my first 16 phrase. Just took a little quick fill in there as well. So for the next section, I'll kind of like add some stabs or something, or like another layer on the kind of main sound. Um. I generally automate as I go as well, um, do a lot of reverb automation on my synths, just automating the delay time up towards the end of sections and stuff. And then um, I could then use this stab section here to put in a breakdown. Grab the first 16 here and drop that in there. Uh, but I'll probably do like a, on the second drop, I always kind of do a switch up on the bass line or something like that. So I'll, I'll do that here. this coming in over the phrase. I'm um, just kind of keeping some momentum going there. Um, how much time do I have? Two minutes. Okay, so I'll quickly just put an intro bit together. Okay, for the intros I normally just use kind of broken down bits from the rest of the track and then build it up into the main section. So I'll just start with something like that and maybe the main chords coming in, those stabs coming in over the course of the intro. And then I'll just play some more reverb time going on. Yeah, okay. So I guess uh, mix down wise, I generally use the ver this Vertigo VSC2 compressor on uh, pretty much everything, all my buses, because it's just a really good analog model compressor. Um, I've got that set up my hats at the moment, just, just kind of tick just tickling them a bit. Oh yeah, and then for my sub I use an EKS9, which is an 808 like synthesizer. Um, with again with that the Vertigo VSC2 on it. So I chain that to my uh, kick drum. tune off if I just chuck in a few crashes and reverse hits etc so just grab some from my uh, my sample pack um, I've got some more buses uh, just tracks again set up just for some reverb and delays in them um, so I'll have 
that. On each one, and then I have normally have a couple of impacts and stuff like that. And I'm done.